What's up all y'all fishing freaks? Uh, today is New Year's Eve. It is probably around 15 degrees today and I don't know if you can see the flurries, but we got snow flurries coming down. So it is an extremely, extremely cold uh, weather weekend. So sadly I will be not be doing any fishing this weekend, but I still wanted to bring y'all like a instructional informational video. So um, over the past couple weeks, I've been seeing some videos on YouTube on how to uh, rig uh, crappie tubes. And if you're not familiar with crappie tubes, they are these little, uh, let's see if I can get the camera to focus. Little crappie tubes, you see them in the fishing section all the time. Uh, they come in different uh, different colors, can't get the camera to focus. But anyway, uh, they're, they're all over the store, uh, anywhere, any tackle store that you go to. So, um, and a lot of those videos I was watching, uh, it's interesting to see how different people rig uh, certain lures, such as soft plastics or Sankos or stuff like that. So um, I wanted to kind of make a video on my take on how to properly rig uh, these uh, crappie tubes. So uh, I'm gonna get inside because it's freaking freezing, you know what? And uh, we're gonna get down on the table and I'm gonna show you my take on how to properly rig a crappie tube. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, click subscribe down below. Make sure you hit the little bell off to the side so you get all the notifications when I upload a video. And uh, let's get into the review. It's freaking cold. Gonna get these gathered up, gonna put on. Son of a bitch! Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh. Damn it! Oh, so I hate those freaking jig hats, huh? I'm done! I'm done! I'm done. I'm done. All right, now that we're inside in the nice warm toasty house, uh, as you can see in front of you, we got a few different selection of crappie tubes, uh, different colors and whatnot. And then on the other side, we have a few different selection of uh, jig heads. One is a uh, 164 ounce jig head, really, really small. Another one is a uh, 1 32nd ounce jig head. This one is painted white with uh, red eyes. Little, another small little jig head. And these, I like these right here. These are my favorite. These are actually meant for uh, these little copy tubes. If you look at the weight, it's kind of uh, cylindrical and long. So it fits right up in the tube uh, really well. Uh, you're still able to use these other jig heads. They work really good. But uh, in my experience, I found they're in the same section as uh, the other jig heads in the bait shop, uh, but uh, these little cylindrical uh, lead weights work excellent, excellent for a tube. Now, the way I've been seeing them on certain videos, the way you, some people are rigging them, they're rigging them straight uh, from the bottom. They start from the point of the hook with the uh, soft plastic, and they run it up from the bottom all the way to the top, like you, like you would a normal, you rig something normal. but to me, that looks just a little bit strange because you still have your weight part up here and then you have your soft plastic underneath and that, I don't know, to me that just looks a little bit weird. And I've seen some people where they grab them and they shove them all the way up to the top, which I can see how that works, but again, that looks a little weird with the uh, lead sticking out of the top. So uh, I, I've never fished this way before. If this is how you do it, I mean, it, it may work just fine. It just looks a little bit off to me. So uh, that was the purpose of today's video was actually showing you the way I do it. Maybe I'm the, maybe I'm doing it wrong and everybody's thinking I'm a retard, but uh, I'm gonna show y'all how to properly do it. Now, these uh, little lead, lead heads, uh, they're very dry. It's very hard to shove these plastics over the lead because uh, it's dry and it doesn't work very well. It gets stuck and you wind up having a, a pain in the butt. So what I do is I have a little little petri dish little deal of uh, water over here and you get that uh, lead wet. A lot of people stick these in their mouth. Um, it's called lead for a reason. Uh, now you won't get sick overnight and die, but that is lead. Keep that in mind. If you want to spit on it, just don't put it in your mouth. And it's really simple. You're going to start with uh, the bottom. If you look at these tubes, uh, 90 percent of them are hollow on the inside, if I can get that to show up on camera. Um, let me get this other one, maybe with the white and pink, the contrast will show up a little bit better. But it is hollow on the inside, you see a little bitty hole in there. So what you do is you have your eye of your hook, what I do is I go ahead and shove it in that hole, everything's at a 90 degree angle, it looks kind of funky, and uh, then you just slowly start working the uh, soft plastic 
over the the lead now that was the purpose of spitting on it or the water because you do need some lubrication this is kind of hard uh, especially if your baits have been sitting in your tackle box for a while so once you get it shoved on you can see the eye of the hook is just wanting to pop right out of the uh, the uh, plastic there so all you do is kind of help it you just kind of pull on her a little bit and uh, the eye of your hook will pop right out I mean perfect I mean that is you tie your line on right there and to me that is the perfect presentation uh, for a crappie tube for and these things are great you catch crappie small bass bluegill uh, trout uh, these things are really really handy to uh, keep in your tackle bag because when uh, conditions are tough or the bites are hard uh, you can always count on these crappie tubes to get you uh, to get you a bite or two so that's pretty good so uh, that that's all I really wanted to bring today was kind of show you how I rig my tubes um, like I said if, if this is if this is wrong and I'm the oddball out here uh, please leave it down in the comments below because uh, the, the crappie tube is a great great uh, thing to keep in your uh, tackle bag uh, in your arsenal so uh, I really do hope you all appreciate today's video I know it was kind of short but uh, if you could hit the like and subscribe button and we'll catch y'all in the next video